Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Sam. Hope you're having a good day. Today is Saturday. We just got back from yard selling. We had a really great day yard selling today. And I'm going to show you some of the things that I picked up. So I'm out here at my storage buildings. I've got a lot out here. And, uh, and I come out here and store stuff every now and then. I've got three storage buildings. I've got this one here. They're all the same size. I've got this one here. Put cameras on them. And also put some signs on them to keep people from coming out. It's morning. So, anyway, um, I'm out here at my storage buildings. I was going to drop off a couple of items that I picked up. And two of the items that I'm going to show you that I picked up at my yard sale today. So here we go. All right, the first item I picked up was this Barbie Dream House. This is a three-story dream house, and it uh, folds out. Let me see if I can fold it out and let you see how it looks. Oh. It comes apart, too. <laughs> anyway, I'm, uh, let's see. There we go. I folded it out just a little bit so I can show you. But uh, this dream house, I looked it up. It's in really good condition. Um, picked it up for $20. It's got an elevator inside of it. It's also got a dumbwaiter over here on this side that goes all the way down with two pulleys on either side to, to move the elevator and to move the dumbwaiter. Let's see if I can pull that elevator all the way up. There it goes. And there's the other rooms. This came with a bunch of accessories in this box here. There's, you know, her bed and a couple of other items, a bunch of other items. But I thought that was a really good pickup. Really nice. I looked it up, and this uh, this Barbie house goes for about $250 on eBay. I might list it locally on Facebook Marketplace just because it's so large, but I do plan on listing it on eBay as well. The other large item that I'm going to drop off here today is this beer sign. This is a Miller Lite sign. Pretty cool. I think it's vintage. I'm not sure. Maybe if you know something about it, let me know. But uh, it, it has uh, two of these transformers on the back. And some of the bulbs are missing. The, this bulb that goes around the top is missing. That goes on all the way around the top. And this bulb here on the bottom, you can see that it's broken. I'm wondering if I can't get it repaired. I'm going to test it out and see. So those are the two large items that I got. I'm going to put them in here in my storage building for temporary storage. I don't want to leave them in here too long because this is not uh, air conditioned. So uh, just want to make sure they don't these things don't get too hot because if they do, they could be damaged. So those are two of the items. Now let me show you the rest of the items. By the way, I paid five dollars for that uh, beer sign. So it was uh, really inexpensive. I wouldn't have paid much more than that for it since it didn't work. But uh, I think at $5, I could at least get $5 out of it if I were to sell it exactly as it is. So uh, I'm going to show you some of the other items that I got. All right, well, I decided it was way too hot for me to keep filming out there. So I decided to come in here and do the rest of my haul video in my uh, eBay headquarters here. So uh, let's get on with it. All right, to start with, I got this Nintendo DS. And uh, this came with a case and it was $50. And inside the case were these games, the, the, control, the charger controller here. And let's see, I didn't even see what, oh, that looks like a car charger. So that was in there. And these games, let's see what games we've got. We've got Mario and Luigi, Bowser, Inside Story. We got Unwound Future, Professor Layton, Unwound Future. We got Brain Booster. We got Club Penguin, Carnival, and America's 
test kitchen. And on this side we had we have looks like two stylus. That's good. Is it stylus or styluses? And here is the um, DS. Now this is a DS XL and there was a game inside of it, Zelda Spirit Tracks. I think all of these games are pretty good games. I got this uh, DS for $50. $50. This is a special uh, DS. It's the Super Mario's Brothers 25th Anniversary Edition. And let's see if it has a stylus. Yes, it has a stylus. So I've got three stylus. Got two extra stylus here. So that means I can put a stylus with one that doesn't have one that I have. So I uh, turned it on. And it looks like it works good. Screen's in pretty good condition. It, it uh, seems to work okay. Legend of Zelda. So it appears to work pretty good. That is an excellent deal for um, $50. I'm going to put the sold comps on the screen here so that you can see how much it, it actually goes for. So I'm going to put that away. Then I'm going to show you the other really good deal that I got. Um, I think that I'm going to sell this case and these games separate uh, from the console itself. I think I can get about uh, 180 for the console and um, the games I can do them separately individually also got this uh, Nintendo switch in the box paid $50 for this I kind of paid up for it but it is almost in brand new condition it's in the box in its original box let's open it up here Got to remember how it opens. Oh, yeah. So, with this, it came with an extra game that you can download. And um, there is instructions here on how to download, and then you scratch this off for the download code. So this download has never been done, so whoever buys this will be able to get this with the... Uh, with, a, with a, a game to download but it is practically brand new um, everything is still in its packaging in its original packaging in very good shape very very good condition let's let's put it together and see if it works he said he uh, cleared off his settings before he sold it to me so let's see if I can figure it out there's the on switch I think there we go so he refact he factory set it So it looks like you got to set it up using the internet. I'm just going to do later. Let's see. Set it up for Chicago. Today is June, uh, June the 8th. Okay, later.
Alright, setup is complete. So, I guess we can go to home now. And, is there a game in it? Tears of the Kingdom. Did he leave a game? Nope, he did not. But he did give uh, sell me the Tears of the Kingdom game. So, I have that game. Okay. So, it works. Alright. I paid... Um, hundred dollars for that so let me put it back in the case and we'll go on to the next item so I got it back in the case and inside the bottom we have the charger we have the mount and we have um, all the stuff that goes with it so so everything is complete it's 100 percent complete in this box so I'm going to pack it back up by the way this this um, item this uh, a Nintendo switch list on eBay, I saw some sold comps anywhere between 350 and 250. So this this is a special edition um, switch as well. It is it is the Mario Brothers Super Deluxe switch. So that was a pretty good deal for for. Uh, hundred dollars I should get about 260 or 290 something like that this is a Barbie that I picked up at a yard sale this is uh, Auburn uh, Auburn University in Montgomery uh, I mean I'm sorry in Alabama we have Auburn and Alabama universities and uh, and they, those are the SEC universities here so this is a Barbie with Auburn with an Auburn Jersey is a university Barbie I've never seen any of these collegiate Allegiancy licensed Barbies before, but this one right here, um, if you look real close, it is dated 1996. Let's see if I can get that to zoom in there. 1996. So that is a pretty good Barbie there. I did not look that one up, but I'm going to put this old comps right about here. The next couple of items I got was at a, uh, a yard sale. I picked up this vintage microphone. Um, this one looks like it's from the 50s or 60s. may even be earlier than that. It could be as early as the 20s. I'll have to check on it. But I will put the uh, sold comps on this one up on there as well. I've seen these uh, go for a pretty high dollar. The guy sold me this and this clock here. The clock is a camel. Um, let me raise it up here a little bit. This is a camel wall clock with uh, with the uh, camel logo here on there. And I haven't put batteries in it. Let me grab some batteries real quick and see if it actually works. Well, it looks like it actually works. That's great. Um, haven't looked up this one, but I'm going to look it up and uh, see how much it sells for. I may end up keeping this one. I just really like it. I'm a, I'm a clock addict. So, anyway, um, got both of these items for five uh, five dollars on the microphone and um, ten dollars on the clock. So fifteen dollars altogether. Okay, the next the next item I got was this really cool box, and it's just a a, a box that's uh, made out of wood. It says Republic Steel Corporation on the side of it, and it says Cleveland, Ohio, and it says Gadsden, Alabama. So I thought that was pretty cool. And this is the other side of that box, Ups and Nut Division. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Nice wooden box. It actually reminds me of the old ammo crates that they used to have back in World War II. Next up, I found this La Crosette uh, pot. These are made in France. I've seen these on other re uh, resellers' uh, YouTube channels, and I understand that they bring in over a hundred dollars. They're uh, they're made out of metal with uh, with enamel coating, and they're very ooh, they're extremely heavy, but they're very well made also, and they're highly sought after. Made in France. 
I don't know if this color is uh, is one of the more desirable colors or not, but uh, I will put the comps up here on the screen for you to look at. Also, I got this set of, bing, of ping clubs. These are, um, let's see if I can zoom in here. These are uh, Karsten Ping E Ping I I2 black dot. I guess they're black dot. This is a wedge. Um, we have a sand wedge here, I think. Is that what that is? And the other one, I guess, is a pitching wedge. This one is a uh, three iron and a one iron and a two iron. So I got a one, two, and a three iron on the uh, on these ping clubs, and these ping clubs were um, ten dollars for all five clubs. I think I can get anywhere between uh, $25 and $35 a piece for these clubs. Maybe even a little bit more. I'll put the comps up here on the screen for you. Okay, I got a couple of toys uh, at the yard sales too. I got this amphibious car. It's upside down in the package, but um, I'll put the sold comps on this one on the screen. I got that for a dollar, and I got this for a dollar. This is a Discovery Kids, some kind of ex. Um, extreme shark science. She said the teeth were missing out of it, so um, I don't know if it'll be worth anything, but maybe I could just part the pieces out on that. Also, I got this was in a bag. It is a uh, I mean, I'm sorry, this wasn't in a bag. It was it was just out, and I put it in this bag. But this is a Honeywell thermostat. Um, these Honeywell thermostats go for pretty good. If you see these out in the wild, especially if they're in the box, be sure and pick one up. These are real good. This comes with the manual. And so um, I'll put the comps for that up as well. I paid a uh, dollar for that, so not much, not much uh, into that one. Also got this Samsung. Um, I think this is like a Galaxy or something like that. Uh, I asked if it was locked. They said it wasn't, so I got this for uh, $3. Pretty good deal on that, and I'll put the comps up for that one, too. Also, at one yard sale, I was able to... I always ask for uh, video games or video game consoles, uh, and that's how I got that Nintendo Switch today. Um, but this one I got for uh, $3, and... I plan on bundling it up with one of my consoles when I list it. I have a couple of the 360 Slam black consoles that I was looking for black uh, controllers to go with it. Today was seemed to be a day for controllers, so I found this uh, for a quarter. It's one of the Wii uh, nunchucks, so that's not bad for a nunchuck. And this actually came from the uh, thrift store. Um, it was uh, $4.09. This is a, an Xbox One game controller, and I just tested this out on an Xbox that I just fixed. So I paid uh, $4.09 for this, and it will be uh, bundled up with one of my Xbox Ones that I've just um, fixed and got going again. Next up, I got this vintage bottle. And uh, I'm going to put comps up for this one. I haven't looked it up, but sometimes these old vintage bottles go for pretty good money. This one looks like it may have been, uh, it may be an antique. It is it's really uh, unique. I don't see any markings on the bottom, but it did look like it had a little bit of a scratch here on the bottom. I don't know if that's where it was broke, broken or, or fractured or if that's just how it was made, but you see there's a bubble inside of it, so you know that this this was made the old-fashioned way. Also found this really neat radio. A lot of times these, these little radios go for good money, um, but this one is, it looks like uh, you can make it work. Let's see.
fix up TV channels, AM, FM, radio. Right <laughs> And it also has a, a light on. Let me see if I can turn the light on. So that's pretty cool. And it came with a case. I haven't looked this one up, but I'll put the soap comps on for this one as well. Um, inside this case were several adapters. I didn't see a plug, but I guess it doesn't need need a plug. You just use the adapters, and or you could use batteries. So that's pretty clean looking, and uh, and I, I got this for uh, three dollars. So I will put the comps up for that one as well. Now on to my local thrift store finds. I got this uh, radio here for $10.49. Let's see if it works. We'll look at it together. Let's see, open. Cool. It does open. We'll put the CD in. This is a Christmas favorites. Close. Sunflowers that you can walk through and see all the variety row 33. Check them out on Facebook for opening day. The Sunflower Field, a short drive from anywhere. Dairy Queen Kayla Road is your spot for lunch or dinner. They have so So that that's a pretty good deal for uh, ten dollars and forty nine cents. It's made by Phillips, so that's a pretty good brand. I think I can get pretty good money on that. We'll see. I'll put my comp up here so you can see that on the comps. Also got this. this next item this next item is a uh, power supply for a uh, these people who build these computers this is a power supply for the computer and it's it's a real heavy power supply it is a uh, 850 watt and it looks like it's pretty new here in the box still has the manual and everything with it and um, I looked this one up. This one I bought, I paid up pretty good on this one. I paid $20 for it. But I looked it up and the comps were in the neighborhood of 75 or 65 to $75. So that, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Also at the thrift store, I found two vintage Barbie dolls. This one is called Teresa and it's cut in style. So you're supposed to, little girls are supposed to cut its hair with this pair of scissors. So you're supposed to be able to cut and style this Barbie's hair. And I looked it up, and this one is uh, dated. Let's see if we can find a date on this. Two thousand two. So it's two thousand two, Mattel. So it's this Barbie is, I guess you could say it's vintage because it's over twenty years old. Um, twenty one years old. So the kids that play with this are grown and have kids of their own now. This one here is uh, is called a Barbie style. This one is about $35. This one was uh, $45 on the comps. And it was $8.49 is what I paid for that one. And I paid, let's see, what did I pay for this one? I paid $3.89. So this one is um, just a uh, it says exclusive JC Penney's Barbie and this one um, comped out for about $35 so that was a pretty good deal let's see if we can see the time the date on this one 2003 on that one so this one is 2003 so they're both about the same age 
one is just a little bit older than the other one. So that's a pretty good deal. I think I can uh, do pretty good on those. There were a couple of other items I got while I was out yard selling today. I thought I would uh, come in here to show you because they're just a little bit too cumbersome to carry around and put on the counter uh, table back there. But I got this really neat granny blanket. It's, um, they call it the Roseanne, Roseanne blanket. This one is real well made and it uh, looks like the, the uh, knitting is done real good. Um, I paid uh, five dollars for this at the yard sale and it looks like it's a pretty big one so that's a pretty great find there. Um, five dollars and I think I can turn it around and get about 15 no I can get about 35 to 45 dollars for that so that that's a good deal. Um, let me turn this camera around. Okay today seemed to be a day for boots at the yard sales. I found this pair of boots here for I paid five dollars for it they're all leather I think they can clean up pretty good uh, they look like they're waterproof and um, Dura Shook whatever that is made by Wolverine Wolverine R shocks flex so that was pretty good um, I think I can get 45 or 50 dollars out of those also, I do pretty good with these military style boots. I found these, this, this guy wanted two bucks and um, he had four pairs of boots. He had three pairs of these. He had this one, these two. These two uh, look like they've been worn and used, but this pair is absolutely brand new, never been used, so in new condition. Uh, the ones that are used and have wear on them, I get about $35 to $45 for these brand new ones. I think I can get $65 or $70 out of those. But in, in addition to that, um, I was able to get a uh, pair of black. There's, there was a pair of black all leather boots as well. And these, let me open them up here. These appear to be brand new as well. It looks like they've pretty oops. Get this camera straight <laughs> they don't look like they've ever been worn but uh, they're all leather in really good condition and these are size 12 so I think all of these pairs of boots all five of these one two three four pair of boots are all size 12 so that that was really good two dollars a pair two four six eight dollars and I I'm sure I will get mm, close to 350 for all four pairs. So there you go, guys and gals. That was my haul for today, uh, Saturday, and it is the 8th. So I guess this is the second weekend in June. We had a really good day today. I spent about 200 and no, I spent over $300 today in all the purchases that I got. But I think I got some really good finds, and I'll be able to make some good money off of it. So. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure and give it a like and a thumbs up and be sure and hit that notification bell so that you will be notified the next time I put a video up. And also, leave me a comment. I would, I really like hearing from you guys and uh, I read every comment that you put down and I respond to every comment. So be sure and leave me a comment. Let me know if you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you like this type of video. And if you do, I'll pr try to do more of them in the future. So I will end this video for now. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.